A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem, Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, Wa Salati Wa Salam Ashraf Al Mursaleen, Sayyidina Wa Mawlana Muhammad Al Mustafa Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Bimadadakum Al Adhan Al Kunsiri Ya Rasul Al Kareem, Ya Khabib Al Azim, Bimadad Ya Sayyidi, Ya Sultan Al Awliya Man Shaykh Adali Faiz Al Daghestani, Sultan Shaykh Muhammad Naraz Al Haqqani, Mawlana Shaykh Hisham Kabani, Shaykh Adnan Kabani, Shaykh Muhammad Adil, Ma'abd Khaliq Al Khujdawani, Sahib zaman Sayyidi Muhammad al-Mahdi alayhi salam, Ruhullah Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam, Sayyifullah Sayyidina alayhi salam. Thumma Sahib Bakr Siddiq, Sayyidina Ummah, Sayyidina Uthman, Imam al-Hasan alayhi salam, Imam al-Husayn alayhi salam, Sayyidina Fatima Tiza alayhi salatu salam, wa sayyiru sadatina wa siddiqeen al-Fatiha. Fa'awzu billahi min ash-shaitan ar-radeem, Bismillahi ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. And Abdul Ajeez, Da'eef, O Miskeen, Zahal, and Jahal. And but for the grace of Allah that we are still in existence. InshaAllah tonight, tomorrow night, depending upon different areas, they'll be observing Laylatul Israhi wal Miraj, Alhamdulillah, night in which Allah lifted Sayyidina Muhammad to his Divinely Presence. InshaAllah, Hajj Shahid. From same Surat Al Isra verse 80. And this is for the realities of the lataif of the heart and for the walakar karan of Bani Adam that Allah in His immense love for this creation of Bani Adam, the vehicle that would house the reality. The karama, why Allah like a karamna out of all the creations, why I have honoured this creation and this creation's honour is the reality and the light of Sayyidina Muhammad that Allah would be placing inside of that vehicle. InshaAllah page uh, Surat Al-Isra verse 80, InshaAllah Hajjah. A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Wa Qur Rabbi Yadukhil وَلَا صِدْقٍ وَأَخْرِجْنِي مُخْرَجَ صِدْقٍ وَاجْعَلْ لِي مِنْ لَدُنْكَ InshaAllah the talk is about Surat Al-Isra 17 verse 80. And Allah is giving for us an understanding and say, Oh my Lord let my entry be by the gate of truthfulness and honour and there's some very bizarre interpretations. And that's why it's best to read Qur'an either if you know Arabic you read Arabic and then back into the transliteration so that we know the words that are being used in Arabic. This maqas Siddiq is a maqam, it's a maqam, a, a gate, a bab of truthfulness and honour that establishes you can't pass through that if you're not truthful and not honourable. And likewise let my exit from this gate of truthfulness and honour and grant me because we're now entering, we're leaving and entering into somewhere, into a Divine the Presence. And Allah clarifies for believers, and let my entry and grant me from Thy Presence the authority to aid me. And it's actually the word Sultan and Nasira that led me to enter through the maqams of the Siddiqs 
Let me to leave and to enter through the Siddiqs because that's the only way into the presence of Sultan al Nasira, which is the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad and alhamdulillah that in the understanding of Israhi wal Maraj that what Prophet wants for his ahbab and lovers is make your own miraj. How many times do you just want to keep repeating and they repeat the same story of the miraj? And what's important in these days is to make your miraj. That important for the believer to take a life of tafakkur and move towards the reality of light, the oceans of light, what Allah has honoured for us and come to the presence of the Sultan. Can anyone lift up or do anything from hat dunya from the level of dunya, from the from the level of the heavens, not even in sama, once you enter into the space, space is still dunya. All of that requires a permission and the aid of a sultan. Sultan al Nasira for al haqqaiq is by no doubt the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad. And in the levels of tafakkur and the levels of understanding, this Galb sir, sir sir and then khafba. The two lower levels of these four latayfs of the, the sir sir and the khafa reality. And the two siddiqs that Allah is describing for us in this maqam for Israhi wal Miraj because once you take your training for the Miraj and entering the believers taught that your miraj is not to Allah we're not at the same level and reality of Sayyidina Muhammad Prophet is one whom Allah has sent for his reality, come back to let me show you your reality and what I have bestowed upon you. And for us the servants of the servant of Allah our Divinely Miraj is in the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad And that's why the latayfs of the, of the qalb and understandings of the latayf of the qalb is the house of Allah And when Allah gives the servant that understanding and that reality, He's teaching them the qalb and mu'min baytullah, I want you to come into this house of Allah and seated in the throne of this house. Because the qalb when you enter into that qalb and Allah saying, this is the house of Allah there's going to be a king seated upon that throne. And that's Sultan al Nasira that at everything that we do requires the permission of this Sultan that he grant an authority, he has to grant an ijazah, he has to grant a permission, he has to grant from all these lights and all these realities. If the servant doesn't know who's stamping their paperwork, they can never achieve it. That's why Haqqiqat al Muhammadiyah is the highest level of realities where they train that these two Siddiqs, Sayyidina Israel and Sayyidina Israfil. The Sayyidina Israel from the angels is the first gate at the Sir Sir, and this is the gate of death. So your qalb, sir and then the two lever ones sir sir The sir sir on Israhu al-Miraj and the understanding of trying to reach towards al-Miraj has to do with Sayyidina Israel and the state of death. The khafa and rising into the Divinely Presence has to do with the angel who blows the trumpet and the rising of the dead. Sayyidina Israfil These two Siddiqs and angels that, that control these gates means that when the student is making tafakkur, learning the process of tafakkur, making their connection with the shaykh, 
annihilating themselves to be nothing, to be nothing, to be nothing, they'll be trained by Sayyidina Israel that begin to send the fires into their heart that your desires must die. For this gate of sirr sirr and this gate of, of uh, mawt qabl al mawt, death before death, your desire and your will has to be destroyed. If your will is not dying and your desire is not dying, you are not dying. <laughs> that rhymes. If your desire is not dying <laughs> and your will is not dying, you're not dying. And if you're not dying, there's no way to leave this gate, leave this body. And in the leaving of the body Allah is, is stressing for us that, let my, my departure and my, my entry and my departure to be through truth and honour. Means that the characteristic of truthfulness and honour, you cannot take our state of leaving the body in a dirtiness, in a badness, in a non-truthfulness. Allah is stressing that when this soul wants to enter into the presence of Sultan and Nasira, it has to pass through the gate of truthfulness and honour. Both it's, it's leaving of the body because the leaving of the body is the entering into the heavens. So the both of them are, are, are coins, are two sides of the same coin. When you leave it's not that you just go nowhere, it's the leaving of this physicality is an entry point into that Divinely reality. And the leaving of this physicality requires then all of these characteristics of truthfulness and honour and that's why tariqah comes to treat and to teach all its mannerisms. Sayyidina Israel teaches us that the desires have to die. The desires have to die and the, the, the strong will of the character has to be crushed through testing. And that's why we see in life now everyone is being tested. Everyone is going through difficulty of what they wanted, what they envisioned, what, what they wanted of life. And Allah not making it happen for many because what they want and what Allah wants is He wants this station to be achieved. Those servants whom Allah is inspiring with them to sit and to listen to them, learn their system. That if, you, if you're not able to leave the body something is wrong and if you're not able to leave the body it's like a beatific bird. If it's, if it's trapped with, within the prison of this physicality, how is it going to go out to reach its realities? to feed from Allah's Divinely lines, Divinely blessing. How is it going to reach towards all the faizes and all the emanations that Allah wants but the poor bird is just stuck within the physicality and only small experiences, little bit of water, little bit of seeds. Allah said, no you have to crush this reality in which your bird is trained to leave and because it's truthful and honourable it leaves in a very pure state into the presence of the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad receives the fires, receives the reality, receives the tajallis and immediately knows its way back into the physicality and their bird, their soul is in a continuous state of movement in the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad So then Sayyidina Israel comes to them to teach them and not only by coming and teaching them but every state that he brings upon them is lowering their desire, lowering their desire. Even sickness comes to the person to think that my, my life and everything that I thought about my life is of no value Ya Rabbi, I'm ready to meet with you, I'm ready to be with you. If the servant doesn't have a state of longing and loving to be with Allah Know that Allah doesn't want to be with that servant, it's a reflective reality. So Prophet described that, how do you know if Allah loves you 
is when the servant reaches a state in which they love and wish to be with Allah more than anything. At that time Prophet described, if you wish and your love is to be with Allah know that Allah's love and wish is to be with you, means a reflective reality of love. When you have that immense love that, Ya Rabbi that I, my love for you immense, with whatever faults I have my love I know will will wash away every, every incorrection and everything that make you to be upset with me. That yearning and that love is actually reflection of Allah's loving of that servant. He places that love into the heart. If Allah doesn't have a love for you, you're not going to have a love to meet Allah you're going to be running from dunya. So Allah describes them that they want to live a thousand years. Because yeah they have no interest at all in meeting Allah, their Creator, God, whatever you want to call because their whole life was all lies and, and cheating. How they want to meet? To be punished? They don't have a love, they have no interest at all and they know what's coming. And Allah describes throughout the surah they have a reckoning, they have an accounting coming and they're trying to run away from that accounting. And all that's happening now in this last year when we go in we talk with people and they say, why are you going to take this? You're going to take this jab, you're going to take this shot, you want to take this stuff? I say, what I'm doing? I want to live here for a thousand years? If Allah want me dead, I'm very happy to be dead. I'm ready to go as of tomorrow, tonight. But He's not calling because I keep saying every night, Ya Rabbi I'm ready. If you want me, I'm ready. And then tomorrow you wake up again, he didn't want to. What are you going to do? So who's going to save me? Allah's the only one going to save me. Who wants to preserve me on this earth if Allah doesn't want to preserve me? So how many jabs people want to take? What is the, the real thing that's happening within their heart? They're fearful of what? Wanting to meet who? Fearful of meeting someone? That's everyone to their own level of belief. But this lo longing and yearning is to do with love of Allah Love of being with Sayyidina Muhammad to sit at the table of Prophet to, to, to unimaginable what type of reality that must be and the sweetness of what was, was felt and tasted on earth. It can't imagine what its reality must be in the full presence and full reality of Sayyidina Muhammad So means then this state that Sayyidina Israel brings for us of the death, that everything it just has its place. Every, everything of dunya has its place but there is no place that can fill the reality of Allah and the love of Sayyidina Muhammad when the servant is understanding that and Allah is just, He's put the whole world and this world is saying, oh we have an awakening, we realize we want to live a thousand years. So they awoke and found out they want to live forever? That doesn't seem like an awakening, it seems more like they died, more into dunya. But the true awakening is when they, the taste of the world went from their mouth and is going and, and the taste of, of trying to conquer this world is going. And when it goes what Allah is, is giving is that the gate of truthfulness to leave the body is now opening. So then everyone who emails sad, everyone who, who emails that they're in despair, that they're having difficulties. And the reply that comes back to you is, tafakkur, meditate, meditate because that is the state that opens the reality of death. Every time you're sad, every time you're heartbroken, every time you feel it's just finished, I don't want to do it anymore, that's the time in which Allah is opening the Divinely Presence. The house of the, the body is a house, when the body is in pain, when the body is on fire, Nobody sits inside the house especially somebody who's been trained. 
This is the reality of pain and affliction and difficulty. Those who have been trained to leave the house, as soon as there's a difficulty they're gone, they're out of the body, they don't want to even be near the body. They've trained on how to meditate and to leave, how to tafakkur and how to leave. So the immense reality of this state of death under Sayyidina Israel and the, the, this holy verse from Surat al-Isra that you play Surat al-Isra verse 80 and you meditate and contemplate and that, Ya Rabbi that through the power of Holy Qur'an that to make this state to come upon me Ya Rabbi and the state of death to, to reach towards my reality that Sayyidina Israel is dressing me from that reality and that, that death and the state of death begin to enter upon me in which the desire goes and when the desire of, of the dunya is collapsing and the power of your soul is increasing, now you're switching a reality and a contract upon your physicality. What's happened to 99.9% .9 of people, their physicality is governing entirely their rohani and as a result they feel and hear and taste nothing. When this state is going and going and going but your rohani becoming stronger, now it's pushing the physicality down and the servant begins to open the holy hadith that they're hearing, they're seeing, they're feeling, they're tasting, they're touching. From what Allah wanted to give from Divinely Oceans upon the soul, as the, then the two coins, the one coin, two sides of that same reality at that same time Sayyidina Israfil has to be training the servant on how to rise because if you're dying you must have to also be rising. So not only your honourable character on, on leaving all bad desires they begin to train on how to bring your soul out into the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad and that's why when they're training you on how to leave, how to leave, how to leave the coordinates have to be very clear. You're not leaving to go roam around the forest and to bushes, people meditate and they have all these websites for meditation and they want to go roaming into the bushes and into the woods. But when you're being trained for the departure, you're also trained at the rising. Sayyidina Israfil comes to raise you to immediately into the presence of Sultan and Nasir because you're not going roaming around, that you're asking that your state of death come and to be raised right into the presence of the Sultan, that your life has to understand its coordinates, that your love and, and affection for Sayyidina Muhammad is an immense love, immense yearning within the heart. So immediately the faith of the heart places the servant right at the presence of the Sultan. And only in that reality of Sultan and Nasira, every authorization comes to them. And we've had talks many, many years back, who authorized you? So when people say they this, they're that, they're whatever they are, who authorized you? And that's what's important in this way of haqqaiq. This teaching is teaching that what authorized, who authorized them is the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad That everything that done by them is stamped by Sultan and Nasira and they are an authorized servant, not authorized by dunya people who decide they like you one day, they authorize you, next day they don't like you, they don't authorize you. Their authorization from heaven, from Allah who never changes what He does. Allah doesn't like you one day and then don't like you the next day. When Allah grants, He grants to His servant. And when the grant comes from Sayyidina Muhammad it's stamped. And that's why all this training is Sultan and Nasira. Ya Rabbi led us to grant by the Iza and might into the presence of Sultan and Nasira. And we say it for every Jummah because every authorization and every reality, there is no Jummah on earth right now, there is no Khalifa on earth. There is no valid Jummah on earth except in the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad 
which would be in Medina to Munawwar until the presence of this earth having the Khalifa and the presence of Sayyidina Mahdi And that's why the words in our Jummah is all about, Ya Rabbi grant us an authority, grant us from the presence of the one whom you've authorized the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad We pray that Allah grant us an understanding on Israhi wal Miraj that this love for Prophet that our soul is in a mirage into the light and into the heart and the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad inshaAllah. Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. InshaAllah pretty deep subject, don't worry if you didn't understand it, wait for the article to come out with the writing, print it out and slowly you read it and read it again. This is for the reality of the soul and not for the mouths and the brain and, and the, the understanding of people's heads. This is something to be dressed by the soul and the reality of the soul inshaAllah. We haven't to had a, for a few nights uh, from I think Friday or Saturday with any questions. Nothing. No That's a good sign inshaAllah. Uh, anybody out there that has uh, some issues, comments, uh, want to communicate, don't forget help me at nurmuhammad.com. These are holy nights, blessed nights, so many, so many ways to support that alhamdulillah we all our life we were raised with like a bake sale. You go to the mosque and uh, a cookie that you could get somewhere else and they bake it and then they give to you and they say, we're raising funds for our masjid. We've taken that to a different level now so people can support in many ways. People who just want to support, they support. People who want a tasbih out of that whole thing, they can order a tasbih and that way they're supporting also. So many ways for people to participate, to transcribe, to, to give some technology. What most surprised is that a lot of the tech people are not commenting and not supporting. So there are people out there with very advanced you know technical skills, app skills, no beginners because we already have enough people trying to do that. We need very advanced app developers, IT developers, these, these kind of computer developers if they can cooperate and email and, and, and what type of skill they have. So that the technology that we're using can be taken to the next level inshaAllah. So many things to do and so many people to reach and so many ways for people to participate so that tariqah becomes something very real and very active. We said before on the other talks of social demographics is that you got to get recognized, you, you, you got to get your name showing up on somebody's radar. And the best way is through the support, the activities, the participation, the emails, the comments so that you're under the nazar. Nazar of the shaykhs were watching, the shaykhs were watching the shaykhs all the way up the chain of having the nazar of all these awliyaullah and that most definitely brings an alarm and an alert into the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad that this servant's name is appearing everywhere trying to do the most they can. So that their faith is true, not every servant is always asking for du'a, that's not a problem. But those servants that are asking for du'a and they're supporting, participating, commenting, then it makes their faith to be real inshaAllah and their nazar dressing us, blessing us. And by means of that nazar Allah inshaAllah take away every type of difficulty, every type of calamity and grant us from His presence Sultan and Nasira. That Ya Rabbi open for us maqam siddiq that this, this maqam of the siddiq, siddiq and truthfulness of our hearts to open those realities and open for us the presence of Sultan and Nasira. Bi hurmati Muhammad al Mustafa, Ya Rabbi izzat wa azimati bi jabbarut, ila fatanika fatamu bina, li akhiraka Allahumma taqaddam bi dhanbika al akhir, alhamdulillah alayka bi sirat al mustaqeem wa yansiruk Allahu nasran aziza, wa yansiruk Allahu nasran aziza. Wa yansiruk Allahu nasran azizah ya Rabbi ila sharaf al-Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa ansawi kiram wa ala mashaykhina fi tariqatun ashbandiyyatun aliyyah wa sayru wa sadatina wa sadaqina al-Fatiha.